Hi everyone, so I will uh, explain um, the way the um, Rebevel uh, tool works into the CAD toolkit um, that I will release um, soon. So for, first of all, uh, there is a set of uh, odd key. Uh, you press Control Alt and H uh, in my case, but you may um, change it if you want. And you have a different set of different tools. Uh, one is for the CAD uh, cleaning uh, that I have presented before. Uh, one is for recreating holes with a specific um, side count. And same thing for the cylinders and another tool for the rebiver. So we will take a look at this one. So when you click here, you have the, just two icons. One is just a, a floppy disk uh, that prevents you that this kit uh, is based on macros and for that reason, and especially for, for the workflow, uh, I couldn't use the undo um, in the, in the, um, during the process. So it's important to save maybe your file, your refining, uh, I, mean, I mean, working scene actually into a temporary uh, scene folder. So this one is on the C uh, temp uh, and rebevel uh, folder. So when I click here, I just save the scene in a different folder. So in my case, I'm running onto uh, Windows. So I should maybe have some feedback from the Mac uh, users uh, if there's some, um, or I can say, variation on, on onto this. But in my case, that's on the C temp. Uh, SMO Rebeaver and Rebeaver 01. So this is just for preventing any issue when you launch the macro and you do something wrong and it just couldn't uh, work uh, with, I mean, you couldn't undo this uh, before. So you saved your file and now you can start uh, doing some actions. So here you have the second button that opens just a, a toolbar like this. I wanted to use also a, a pie menu, but it may uh, it may be uh, done later. Uh, I mean, that's uh, already done for for the recreating uh, rebuild uh, cylinders and holes, uh, where you can get the, the different actions. But I think this one is much more um, uh, selection and click uh, selection and click every time. So if you have the pie menu, you will goes into a menu and send, then click, 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 click. And that's, that's too much click for me. So I prefer also to have some um, menu window like this. So I will select one uh, patch of, so it's working only on patch like this. So you have no uh, continuously um, things like, like this. Okay. When you have this kind of things, uh, it may didn't work. So for example, if you have, this shape that is um, offsetting this way. So maybe I will change maybe the the way the yeah the um, the material is okay. So now it's working. Um, so for example, if you want to rebevel, I will go back to the polygon mode. So if you want to rebevel these kind of things and do just one, two, three, four edge, uh, you couldn't uh, actually uh, with with this uh, this release. I'm still try. I mean, still searching for a solution for this, but it didn't work. So um, you may process in two ways: uh, selecting one one part and uh, do the um, the re the re rebevel uh, action. So. Uh, let's make a test just for, for this one. I think it should work as expected. So this one is working. This one also should work. So I made six. We do six. Now we have a rebevel done. And what is interesting here is that the starting point and the ending point of the beaver is maintained. So um, as you can see, I've launched different um, actions. So the eight one. And it creates some save uh, incremental. So if I want to go back, I, I need to use the undo uh, revert. 
but it just re reverts to, to the previous actions. Okay, so the last one was this one here. So we, we've redesigned this, uh, this bevel, but you couldn't go back further and further. So <laughs> this is one, one thing I should, I should do uh, next time, but uh, I couldn't have the, the, the knowledge actually on this uh, to uh, do the action. So even if you have some problems, you can go back and uh, go to the previous state. Okay, so for example, this is one, the, the previous state on the seven one. So I can close this one, and you should maintain only one scene in the in the item uh, list uh, open. So I will go back um, just for for the presentation purpose. We'll just close this again. So now you can get so the principle. You have one uh, element selected. You can select the different actions. So. Of course, not this one is not working actually. So here I have just three uh, three sided, and here if I want a different one, you can see twelve. I have twelve polygons here. Okay, so it's working actually as you can see on axes, but it works in many different axes. So just to prevent uh, any anyone that is thinking, okay, that's maybe too simple for me uh, it can also work in different space um, orientation so what is really interesting is for CAD modeling sometimes you have plenty of edges uh, along uh, along a path and a poly strip and that's that's really too much uh, for creating some just um, or I can say um, uh, real-time uh, content so of course, you can go back and, for example, this one it was just three. I can rebuild it with twelve. So it will st it will still get the the, the uh, starting point and the ending point. But of course, as you can see, the the um, the curvature is not maintained at all on this one because I I comes from a lower resolution and recreate it uh, with a higher resolution so it may didn't take care about the sides here and there so I may create another um, another type of rebevel but especially from the low the higher the lowest to the highest level so this one is much more from the high to the low you see those icons this is just for uh, keeping some feedback about what, what, what is the, the menu here so uh, you can still for example on this one we have 12 we can go back to 4 and we are maintaining the, the curvature on this one okay so I can undo revert and you see it's it's fairly the same so um, of course, as you click and click and click on those macros, it will create those temporary uh, scene file. So I should prevent you, you shouldn't use this uh, on a scene where you have many plenty of different I items and stuff. So you just keep your object, put it into a, a new scene, uh, save that scene as I've uh, done before with this uh, little icon the first one so the first step is this one and then uh, you refine your your shape so um, I will go back uh, and show other elements so you might think okay <laughs> your your macro sorry for the micro um, gain um, this actions is just only working on the y axis no that's not uh, of course you can use it on many different items like this one so for the for, for example this one I will do 16 and I got 16 uh, elements here so of course you may have some uh, artifact but this one is just because of the shading material that I've put here okay so that's not that's completely uh, continuously uh, connected so if I select the boundary you see there's no there's no hole in it Okay, there is no, it's a completely airtight uh, mesh. So it can be really useful for, for working with mesh, um, mesh fusion, for example. So um, 
I just decided to make just a few different actions like having just three, four, and then six, eight, and not seven, for example, or five, because uh, usually when you create bevel, you like to have a middle, I mean, a middle edge in between. Uh, most of the cases are, are there. So this is why also I, I decided to do those presets and I cannot get a pop-up that you fill in and f fill it up and um, add your own uh, defined uh, presets so seven or 99 or any any numbers like this like impair uh, numbers so it's not working like this uh, actually but it works uh, in many different second circumstances so i will show another type of model so for example this one you might see that uh, compared comparing to the to the previous one, there's a different. Uh, um, I mean, all those edges have different sizes. Okay, uh, if I select this edge and this edge, this one is much longer than this one because you have some. Yeah, you see some insets uh, along the the height. Okay, so it's pushing things on the top. Um, so, for example, on this one. I can still work with that. So uh, here I will make eight, and I have eight uh, edges. I mean eight faces onto this edge, and it's completely maintaining the 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 length here. Okay, so that's completely, I mean, preserving the the curvature of it. So that's really interesting for many purposes. Uh, I can go back and maybe okay, 20 for this one. So that's really interesting for this this kind of stuff. And also you might say, okay, that's working just on the X axis. No, that's not. So we'll take another one. And that object can be totally freezed. Uh, I mean, where is the item center i should see where is the item center i will show it okay so the item center is completely here okay as you can see or it can be uh, on any position it will it will work so for example if i use one of my uh, tools for that so and make this one sorry so set up center tools move center to here select those edges and again okay so i re reoriented the the center of this object and you see you, it got some rotation and position uh, value so here also it might work if i select this and get eight edges i got eight, eight edges also and it's still preserving the the cut here so that's really interesting for, for many different purposes. Uh, so as I said, uh, I would like to make it work with some kind of shapes like this and where, when you have some bevel and for example, so get back to local, scale this down. So you can select this and select eight. You see, there's there's some bugs that occurs in the in the macro. So it's sometimes something that I wanted to create, but in some case it didn't work. So um, I should take a look at this and see how it can works. Oh, this one, this one works here. Um, yeah. So it it may need some improvements, but as you can see, you can do Control Z. It will not work. So you may revert to the previous uh, saved one. So we'll go back maybe to the first one. The first one was the seven, if I remember, yeah. So, yeah, the, so that, that could be really interesting. And for example, uh, I have used this one for many different um, cat cleaning uh, actions. So for example, this one, it's really interesting uh, example. So I got this item that I cleaned up into my uh, CAD toolkit um, 
actions. And then if I want to create, uh, for example, a lower resolution for this one, I can work with this and just, ah, okay. So I should save the file and close the other one. So that's a good uh, issue. I have here because I can show you that yeah you need to work with only one scene open uh, for that for that example so again do um, first action is save this in a new scene and then again um, launch the actions so if I want to make this four I can make this four I can even work on concave and convex uh, parts. Okay, so this one is convex, this one is conca concave. Um, so I can say this one and say eight, and I got eight edges. So that's really interesting for yeah, simplifying things and stuff. Here, that's the the, the best example for this. If I want four, I get four. This one, I will change it to three and delete those edges. I can get this way. You can get also evenly uh, spaced um, edges. Okay, so that's really that could be interesting also. Um, so eight here. Yeah, so that's that's really simple for refining, uh, cleaning up some curvature or make a, a lower resolution of the of the mesh um, that could be really useful so um, i hope you enjoyed this um, this video for presenting the, the tool and i hope you will um, buy it because it takes time for, for making this one and i hope you you will like it um, so this is part of the four different tools that i've made um, i mean th this is four different tool sets uh, here but the rebeaver was the highest uh, the difficult the most difficult one i think uh, more than the ores and the cylinders because those all and cylinders actually works on just only on uh, x y and z um, uh, oriented uh, cylinders and holes so yeah that was um, that was challenging i could say so yeah give me some feedback on the on the slack and um on 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 youtube and uh, tell me uh, if you like it uh, see you bye bye